대회 CEO 존서 LA 연방검사 리차드 파 로스트의 극작가 모니카 메이서 헐리우드 영화감독 마이클 강 백악관 예산처의 스티븐 서 오바마 정부 내무부 관료 레이 리베라 행동하는 정치인 PJ 김 월가의 여성 군명인 스테파니 리 유엔 법제관 캐시 신 그들의 공통점은 성공한 코리안 아메리칸 1.5 혹은 2세대 그리고 그들은 모두 네켈에 속한 왜 그들은 네켈 안에서 하나가 되었을까 
다 끝난 다음에 케네드 의원이 나한테 내려와서 악수를 턱하면서 너 얼마나 프라우드 하냐고 그래서 해리가 여기서 밑에서 스피치를 할게 아니라 의정 탄상으로 해서 했어야 될 거라고 그래야 할 인물이다 이거야 그래서 그렇게 지켜주더라고요 그래서 너무너무 그때 아우 그 가슴이 뭉클할 정도로 이렇게 그음을 국회의원이 그런 얘기를 해줬을 적에 너무 감사했고 정말 나도 놀랬죠 그 반응이 미국 국회에서 연설한 딸을 보며 아버지는 고생한 보람을 느꼈다 흔히들 그러죠 별 보고 나갔다가 별 보고 들어온다고 그 무슨 소리냐면 새벽같이 나갔다가 밤늦게 들어온다는 얘기 일을 하고 있어 일세들이 그러니까 애들하고 대화할 기회가 전혀 없는 거야 단한 가지 교회 갔더래 일요일날 2년 차이 그런 아버지였다 딸이 미국인이 되어 살아갈 수 있도록 온 생일을 바쳤다 
horrible. South Korea is a metropolitan. It's a fashion central. It's um, it's so first world and modern and beautiful. And you know, he wasn't sure about it. His other executives were not sure about it. And so um, finally, they decided to go to South Korea. But after what had happened with North Korea and South Korea recently, I realized that my job is not over, that I have to continue to do the Korea Academy for Educators to make sure that we, um, we let people know that there needs to be peace and that Americans can be active in this process. And that unless there is peace in Korea and other parts of the world that are um, suffering from war and tragedies, there will never be peace here. Finally, now, it's in the I think what the problem with the older generation, my father has told me this many times, is that everybody wants to be a chief. Everybody is capable of being a leader, yes, but a great leader is also capable of being a team player, and uh, that's what NetCal is all about.
겨울 총 6개월의 교육 프로그램을 이수해야 한다. 나는 누구인가? 타인은 누구인가? 지역사회에서 우리는 누구인가? 나와 공동체, 나아가 나와 국가의 문제까지 성찰하며 성공 전략을 세워나간다. 뜻밖의 손님을 만났다. 내케상기 존서였다. 하바드대를 장학생으로 졸업, 지금은 법률서류 작성 전문회사인 리걸진닷컴의 CEO를 맡고 있다. 리걸진닷컴은 모두가 성장 가능성을 점치는 기업이다. 아침 일찍 리걸진닷컴에 있는 존서를 만나기 위해 길을 재촉했다. 화창한 날이었다. 이민 1세대는 이런 날조차 누릴 수 있는 여유가 없었을 것이다. 그 결과가 이민 2세대의 빛나는 성공이 아닐까. 총 400여 명의 직원을 두고 있는 리걸진 닷컴은 지속적으로 세계 수준의 법률 서비스를 제공한 기업이다. 존서는 하바드 조직 행동학과를 졸업하고 하바드 경영대학원 MBA 과정을 거친 재원이다. 현재 존의 리걸즘 닷컴은 크게 성장하고 있다. 리걸즘 닷컴에 대해 뉴욕타임즈와 같은 언론들도 주목하고 있다. 일단은 존의 판단이 오라 보인다. Leadership perspective, he really is the heart and soul that you know gets the company moving in, in the right direction. And um, you know, in terms of working with John, he's a phenomenal boss, uh, very collaborative, and loves you setting in, a, in an informal atmosphere where people are able to you know want to be on the same page, but have the freedom to do uh, things in the way that they need to do to get it done. 어쩌면 존의 리더로서의 능력은 자신의 정체성에 대한 확신 그리고 한국과 미국이라는 두 개의 문화를 모두 자기화하고 있는 데서 비롯된 것이 아닐까 27, 28 years old, not speaking the language, not having any relatives, not having any friends, not knowing where you're going to go from the airport, <laughs> essentially, and then trying to raise a family and then develop All the institutions that are now part of the Korean American community, they all had to be developed from scratch. You know, local banks, because no, they couldn't get loans. Eagle.com is a construction company. The sky is blue. 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 Mekel은 열린 마음으로 변화를 만들어가고 있다. 또한 직접 문제를 해결하기 위해 리더들의 네트워크를 만들어가고 있다. Big grandiose visions of trying to make change or let's impact here or let's change public policy or let's change economics or whatever it may be. At the end of the day, all change happens through people. Through friendships, through relationships. 진정한 네트워크는 지정학적, 문화적, 세대적 경계를 넘어선다. 네트워크가 촘촘해지면 사람들은 그곳에서 문제를 해결할 수 있다. I think the power of networks are the larger that they get, the more powerful they become. Like that's the theory behind eBay. The bigger eBay gets, you know, the harder it is to dislodge because the network is the only place you turn to. 
개방성은 공직자에게는 더욱 필수적인 태도다. LA에서 채 10명도 되지 않는 한인검사 명단에 이름이 올라있는 젊은 연방검사가 있다. There's not that many of us who chose to pursue public service uh, uh, and to be among the few that did, um, it, it makes me feel proud and I think that's something that um, the, my family and the community, community could feel proud of as well. Um, you know, my hope is that I'm not going to be one of the few doing it, but that there's going to be uh, many more people in all different fields who um, are willing to make um, some personal sacrifices and to uh, pursue a, a life of public service um, because they do get tremendous benefits, tremendous rewards um, in terms of uh, feeling the pride in representing the United States um, and in, in pursuing justice as opposed to uh, you know, mere private gain. So uh, you know, I was happy to be a part of that program. Uh, in terms of what NECAL is, um, how NECAL is part of my life now, um, I think what NECAL did a really good job of doing is uh, selecting and training uh, the select this group of people um, in in various leadership and, um, program uh, leadership skills, and so and, and also gave us the opportunity to meet one another. And so what, what the benefit is now is that we still know each other, and so if there's something where we need the support of the, the network, uh, we can tap into that, we can ask for support, and in turn we can also support uh, others in the network as well. And so that, that's how I'm involved. So when I, when I see an email or when I see a, a letter go out looking for help, uh, I try to do what I can. Honestly, I believe the fact that I was half African American and half Korean helped me get the job because there are very few people of mixed race uh, who are writers and then I think distinctly African American and Korean and when I met with the showrunners and I told them I was Korean, usually because people don't know, their eyes lit up. And then I told them stories about my family's escape from North Korea and how my grandfather was hiding in a cave and with other men that were targeted by the communists and then how he left and escaped over the mountains in the middle of the night with his family and then later he found out that the men in the cave were discovered by a communist spy and they were all killed. And I told that story on my meeting for uh, Lost and my bosses looked at each other and I, I thought right then, I think I have this job. Um, because they saw me as kind of being a two for one, they, that I could relate to the African American characters, Walt, Rose, and Michael, but also distinctly for Sun and Jin. So, 사랑하는 남편의 공부에서 아이의 성공을 위해 모든 것을 뒤로 했던 어머니. 
So she really sacrificed a lot so that I could have those opportunities. And also when I was first uh, breaking in in Los Angeles, I moved to L.A. My mother, I lived with my mom again while I was an assistant and looking for a place. It just gave me that security so that I could really pursue my dreams. And I, I you know, owe her the world for that, her and my father. They both sacrificed a lot. So it's really empowering, and I feel like we're helping each other, you know, in our individual fields when we come together, when there's sort of a, a cross-cultural bridge, we help each other so that everyone can be successful. And um, it's empowering, it's, it's, and it's also exciting to meet new people. Each year we have um, a NetCal Gala, and we have a new class come in. We go through different leadership training um, sessions like uh, public speaking, expanding your personal network, uh, what's your own personal brand. So things that normally apply to normal business, I was able to incorporate for me as a writer. It made me think about, as a television writer, what's my own personal brand when I went through one of the sessions, which was really effective and helped me have more of a very specific goal as a writer when I go into meetings to say, okay, this is my brand, this is what I write.
이민자가 진출하기 힘든 엔터테인먼트 분야에서 리더가 되기 위해서는 다른 분야에서의 더큰 힘이 필요했다. What was great about NetCal for me was to actually meet leaders of other industries, to, under, uh, to know people in politics and business and uh, non-profit and, and pe see people in other sectors and understand that a lot of the challenges that I've gone through are the same ones that they face in their industries and that, that there is a connection and that we can actually help each other in each other's industries. So that, that's been more important to me, to meet people outside of my industry. Yeah, actually, Master is People like me, Nagatan Saram Dri Moyoso, Negiro Kumi had the Himizego, or the Kachan Mirror to listen. Niminja in Arab Bigu Suman and American Dreamy Sumshibuita Kora Obama the Tungyang at Anzon, Hashambo Bigu, Kyu Tangja, Tanai Tangu, Kuyota Obama at Anzon, Tutor and Yusek in Jong. 동양인에게도 꿈을 안겨주었다. 오바마와 뜻을 같이 하는 동양인들의 수도 늘었다. 미국 행정관리 예산국의 상임 감사관, 통상 말하는 백악관 재무국에 근무하는 스티븐 선, 어, 그도 그중 하나다. 네케 구성원 중에서 한국어를 그나마 잘 구사하는 스티븐. 스티븐을 만난 것은 행운이었다. 스티븐은 국가를 위해 일하는 자신의 신분에 매우 만족했다. Just personally to me, living a successful and purposeful life means contributing to society. So to me, a life of public service is one of privilege. And that's the main reason why I decided to start my career in government, where you have an opportunity to wake up every day and work for the greater good and make the country better. In terms of how I got to OMB, uh, a lot of this, I, a lot of it is good luck. 일년에 스티븐에게도 고민은 있었다. 그가 네켈로 향한 이유였다. Especially in government, federal government, what Korean American really suffer from is a lack of role models and mentors, just because there's so few of us. Uh, so a lot of it is finding uh, role models and mentors who may not necessarily be Korean American, but who are willing to invest time in you and help you grow.
데켈은 크게 일반 구성원, 즉 펠로우와 그들을 도와주는 어드바이저로 구성된다. 오늘 모임엔 어드바이저도 참석했다. 각자 개인으로도 충분히 경쟁력이 있는 사람들이지만 데켈이라는 공간에서 그 영향력은 더욱 커지게 된다. 데켈의 구성원들은 이렇게 자주 모임을 갖는다. 적어도 한 달에 한 번은 지역 회원들끼리 모여 서로의 의견을 교환하고 특정 사안에 대해 무엇을 어떻게 할 것인지 머리를 맞댄다. 네일 이베라는 한국인 어머니와 멕시코인 아버지 사이에서 태어난 혼혈이다. 이민 2세대이자 혼혈인 그에게 정체성에 대한 혼돈은 더 크지 않았을까? 그러나 그는 생각을 바꾸었다. 
PJ김은 지난 뉴욕시 의원 선거에 출마해 낙선했지만 141일이라는 짧은 선거 레이스를 통해 공동 3위라는 쾌거를 이루었다. 승리라고 봐도 무방한 결과였다. Uh, even though he wasn't actually elected, I think it was a very successful campaign that he ran, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So it was a little difficult in that sense, but as soon as PJ kind of got out into the field and kind of, you know, started talking to people, people started to see the strength in him and kind of what maybe he could do for politics and for, the, you know, just government and, and people and his constituents in general. So just as a whole, he's a very talented individual. So. I think anything that he's invested in is expected to kind of be very, you know, successful. Nikhil Sanghi PJ. 작은 체구에서 뿜어져 나오는 당당한 리더십을 지니고 있었다. PJ의 리더십은 일찍이 유명했다. 프린스턴 대학 총학생회장을 지낸 PJ는 하버드 대학원을 졸업할 때는 학우들에 의해 졸업 연사가 된 영광도 차지했다. 새로운 리더가 열어가는 새로운 세상에 대한 설렘이 가득하다. My name is PJ Kim, and as the executive director of the Drum Major Institute for Public Policy, it's really an honor for me uh, to see so many friends of DMI here. This year, DMI has fought to reform public transportation funding because access to adequate transit is fundamental to accessing opportunity. We've highlighted and lined immigration reform that is morally right and makes economic sense. We've lifted up paid sick leave so that no one ever has to choose between caring for a sick child and losing their job. Acknowledge the work that we've all done together at DMI. Thank you very much. Korean American, 이민 이세대는 이민 일세대와는 달리 자신의 성공을 떠나 자신 속한 그룹의 발전, 더 나아가 미국 시민, 세계 시민으로서의 역할을 충실히 다하고 있습니다. PJ는 현재 DMI에서 상무이사를 맡고 있다. DMI는 1961년 마틴 루터킹 주니어의 변호사로 시작해 오랜 기간 뉴욕과 주변 국가들의 경제 발전, 교통, 이민 정책 개선을 비롯한 공공 부분에 대한 정부의 역할을 연구하는 단체다. But when I graduated graduate school, I really wanted to do something um, that I thought was more meaningful. And I think when you're younger in life, you can take more risks. So I thought I wanted to do something maybe around social enterprise or around public policy. 그는 특히 가난한 한국계 미국인들에 대한 공공 지원이 반드시 필요하다는 결론에 다다랐다. I thought of different ideas and one of the things that I spent time working on was how to help low income families in New York City and around the country from all different backgrounds, white, Hispanic, black and Asian American and Korean American too because there's actually a very large community of Korean Americans who live in poverty. Uh, particularly older Korean Americans um, who don't have uh, support from their family. PJ에게는 프린스턴 대학 시절 잊을 수 없는 사건이 하나 있다. 한국인 사업가를 겨냥한 유저지주의 법안 하나가 통과되었고 이민 이세대로서 그는 한인 사회에서도 정치인이 필요하다는 것을 실감했다. One thing that happened was in 1999, actually November 24th, um, there's a town called Palisades Park in New Jersey where there are many Koreans that live there. And uh, the town actually passed a law saying that only American-style restaurants could stay open until 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And it was a law that was very specifically targeting Korean businesses in Palisades Park. And so um, some business people took it to court, and the judge said, this doesn't make sense. You can't make a law saying that only, you know, only Korean-style businesses can't stay open. So it was a legal victory. 
but the town was still very, um, they were doing a lot of things that were very discriminatory. There were, um, there were signs written on windows and bridges saying, no more Koreans, Koreans go home. Thinking not just about myself as an American, but also as a Korean American, that even if um, these were merchants who live far away, even if they're not my parents, it's still something that affects me. And so that's why I'm still very involved with a lot of national Korean organizations like NetCal, um, like uh, other Korean political networks in Washington, D.C. with Johns Hopkins.
씨는 반기문 사무총장의 취임으로 한국에 대한 위상이 달라지고 있음을 실감하고 있다고 한다. On the geopolitical sphere, Korea is becoming more of a key player in the region, um, and of course, this past year you've seen a lot of tense uh, situations with the uh, first the Chonan missile, the Chonan crisis, and now um, the, the increased tension across the borders. Definitely, um, you know, issues such as non-proliferation are really on the forefront. Uh, of, of discussions at the General Assembly and Security Council. So having the Secretary General uh, being Korean, it's definitely put, whether consciously or not, put it in the minds of other people, um, you know, that Korea is on the map and that it's an uh, emerging global leader. <laughs> sort of a connection to other people, whether it's from this nation or that nation, and wanting to understand, wanting to communicate. So I feel very lucky that this is my job, working on conflict prevention, um, peace building processes, uh, mediation and dialogue. All of those things are um, different sh shapes of, to me, which is one simple thing is uh, understanding. Um, so whether I'm talking to one refugee, one asylum seeker, and trying to understand their stories, or whether it's uh, as a political affairs officer, understanding the different parties to uh, a state political process of different ethnic groups, um, different political factions, it's understanding the players, understanding their um, different spheres, and understanding how you can share that common space, find a solution when there's a problem, and really find a common understanding. And that, to me, is a very simple way to put all the work that I'm doing within the UN, whether it's as a rule of law officer, or as a political affairs officer, or as a humanitarian officer. Uh, you know, these are all different positions. Uh, working for the same goals, and that's really my interest and sort of passion of working at the UN. 열정을 성공으로 이끌 수 있는 팀이 필요했다. 그녀는 자신이 리더에 적합하지 않다는 편견이 있었다. 네켈은 이를 부정했다. But what made it worse for me is that I really am quiet. <laughs> And I'm shy, Asian, female, so all of those things that made me feel, oh, can you be a leader, you know? And, and I've had leadership positions in, in the office, but really, am I a leader? So part of this, thing, you know, experiencing NetCal, I realized, uh, yeah, it's just something within you. And uh, when you get your peer evaluations, and, you know, I was surprised to see that people are looking to me as a leader, and it's just it's given me more confidence. So, in terms of aspirations, um, I really hope that I can pass on that kind of um, sort of support for the next generation, and to really help them get to their stage. Because I feel like. Um, if I didn't have that encouragement, I would have been that quiet uh, person, but not know that that's a strength. Um, I think for generations, you know, for the next generations, for me, I, I'm just thinking for myself, it's that um, that your your mind and when your mind and your passions, your heart, when those can sort of merge together and you're in one place, sometimes your heart is leading you and you want to go this way or your mind is saying no, but I, I think that once you can reach that line where it's in line, that's when you have found that's when you have found uh, sort of wisdom in your past. I, you know, we found success in these streams, but life is much more than that, right? So I would.
would support, you know, new generations to really find their passions and be honest about what they want to do, you know, a little bit broader than those certain categories and to find their life path in, in a, you know, authentic, honest way. I feel like that that's something to look for in, in other generations and supporting them. To see um, a Korean American um, arguing uh, cases before a jury, um, that, that, that's not going to uh, be a surprise at all. And that it will be completely normal for there to be Korean American actors on television and movies. And so I think that's what our um, hope and our collective vision is, is that um, by us doing well in our own jobs, that these fruits of our laborers will naturally uh, come out. Um, and so maybe you won't need a net cow for the third or fourth generation because th what we've done in our time ha has already set the groundwork for them. New York, Manhattan. Kangul ki go innen sam ida. Holo san hana e sam uro, sanggong ul yangi jilju anen saram dili moyo denda. Sanggong yomi nen jom do hak jang e anda. Na, kriko nega sok han sam e. Do na ga kukka wa sege re e hak jang ida. Jim jang an sanggong un, wide an leader mani al su ida. Ne ke ren. And set you up with this framework of leadership, of trust building, and of community. And so, I think in many ways we're pioneers uh, for the future generations of Korean Americans. And that's powerful because we have friendships and we have different sets of skills and talents, and everyone is interested in giving back. Let's work as a community and then to reach out to other communities. And this is the only way that we are going to ultimately succeed. Thank you. 